Hello everyone, the topic of today's presentation is all about operational biosecurity. First, what is biosecurity? Biosecurity, which literally means safety of living things, is a program designed to prevent the exposure of birds to disease-causing organisms by reducing introduction and spread of pathogens into and between the farms. There are different aspects of biosecurity the structural, conceptual, and operational. And operational is what I will discuss. According to USDA, operational biosecurity is the practices, procedures, policies that are consistently followed. Operational biosecurity as the aims of prevention may be arguably more challenging than structural biosecurity because it involves daily vigilant attention to seemingly minute details on the farm. Under operational biosecurity include Operation Manuals Operation manuals should be developed for day-to-day -day activities carried out in feed mills, hatcheries, breeding, and grow-out facilities incorporating emergency plans. It's like an encyclopedia for the business, etc. The purpose of it is to establish a minimum set of biosecurity standards applicable to all poultry producers. Proper decontamination and disinfection Proper decontamination and disinfection of equipment, houses, etc. following depletion of luck. The purpose is to minimize the adverse effects of disease, optimize bird performance and welfare, and provide assurances on food safety issues. Required to shower In breeder farms, all visitors and workers require to shower and use clean farm clothes to prevent cross-contamination between them. Hygiene protocol at poultry farms is a must to avoid contaminations. Maintain record. Maintain records for visitors and their purpose. It can be a valuable formation for traceback purposes in the event of a disease outbreak or other concern. No vehicles or equipment allowed. In the case of breeders, no vehicles or equipment should be allowed within the farm area from the time of delivery of flock until disposal. Contaminated vehicles or equipment can be a risk to poultry farm. In commercial broiler unit, a minimum interflock interval of 2 weeks is recommended. Use an effective integrated pest management program. Use an effective integrated pest management program to control pests and rodent through biological, chemical, and mechanical means. An appropriate program of disease diagnosis and proper vaccination schedule should be implemented. This is to prevent specific diseases. Follow all-in, all-out system. In small-scale egg production unit, Follow all-in, all-out system. The term implies the complete emptying of a room and its cleaning and disinfection without the birds inside before introducing a new batch. If it is not possible, bullets should be obtained from a source free of vertically transmitted diseases. Recycling of egg packing materials, etc. should be decontaminated at the point of entry of farm. This is to avoid contaminations. Routine Disease Monitoring Procedures Routine disease monitoring procedures like post-mortem examination and periodic serum antibody assay to determine immune status of the flock. Lastly, the regular culling. Regular culling of unhealthy, unproductive, and diseased birds. This is to eradicate a host birds to prevent pathogen entering and contaminating new individuals and population. And that's operational biosecurity is all about and how important it is in the success of poultry farm.